Good morning. Welcome back to Ministry Monday. This is Carlton Kuhn. For this particular episode of Ministry Monday, I'm going to deal with a topic that I think is very significant and serious. For those of you who share or comment about this particular uh, this particular session, uh, I, I want to send you a free ebook. It's it's a copy of my book, The How and Why of New Convert Care. Thousands of them have been sold through the years. This will be mailed to you from our team at CarltonCoonSenior.com. Uh, it will be easiest, of course, if you message me or, or email me your your email address. Let me ask this question. Am I called pastor or do I pastor? There, There is a difference. You see... Clever promotions may draw a crowd, but people are retained by a pastor shepherd who cares for his people. I dedicated my book, The Science of Shepherding, uh, Pastoral Care for the 21st Century, to E.W. Karn. Brother Sister Karn had been my pastor when I was a teenager. For that dedication, I asked uh, the Thetis Tenney to write a foreword for the book, an article about her parents. The Karns were people who developed others. They wanted those under their care to be spiritually healthy. When I was 16 years old, I visited the Karns to share my call to ministry. There, there wasn't a lot to suggest that uh, that conversation had any merit. I was a shy boy who had difficulty standing to give a book report. The Carnes listened to me. They were pastors. They took me seriously. They talked with me about God's word and God's work. They, they prayed with me that evening, and uh, I left with several books that were intended to deepen my rather shallow spiritual life. That night, the shepherd had invested in one of the sheep. He wasn't just carrying the name pastor or the title pastor. He was operating as a pastor. It was clear that the sheep were the main thing. The flock was the most significant thing in their world. I've watched pastors get sidetracked. It could be a hobby, fishing, hunting, golf. The distraction could be the stock market or raising premium cattle or collecting antiques. And to be clear, none of those are wrong unless they become a main thing more significant than the flock of God. And in this, our actions speak louder than our words. For others, and this can be a challenge even for church planners, ministry opportunities or religious events become the distraction. A fellow can be an excellent speaker, great preacher, great teacher, and a high-profile pastor invites him to preach. As a matter of fact, there may be they may come eight such invitations for a year. If the fellow takes those invitations, the church planner takes those invitations, and he steps away from the people God sent him to build and develop. He has become distracted by a good thing, preaching as an evangelist to congregations other than his own. Sometimes I think we need to think it, about it this way. Do we prefer being called pastor than being the pastor? Think about it. The flock is the main thing to God. Is their health and well-being the main thing to me or has something distracted me? If the latter is the case in my life or in yours, it's time for a reset. With this particular episode, I want you to do one thing for me because I think this is going to help a lot of people who watch or listen to Ministry Monday. I'd like for you to post the name of a pastor from your past or present who you feel to have been an exceptional pastor. And then I want you to take it a step further. I want you to give a brief explanation as to why you saw your pastor in that particular light. Till next week, pastors, 
Let's don't just be called pastor. Let's pastor.